One of the main ideas behind the This Is Not A Toy is that intersection of art and product and what makes these toys not a toy, what makes them a conceptual art object. And I guess on a larger scale it's about how these toys are a unique um, cross-pollination of art, design, consumer product and it involves music, fashion, uh, street culture, all of these very different and, and relevant cultural movements of today. And that's where Pharrell came in. His collection and his involvement with the artists in the exhibition he was pivotal in getting these people involved with us. And he also has collaborated with Takashi Murakami. He's collaborated with Cause. So the relevance of having him involved was very legitimate. It wasn't just having a celebrity involved in the exhibition. He collects both art toys and contemporary art. So it made a lot of sense in terms of having him involved with us. The Simple Things is a, is a very, very interesting piece in that Pharrell designed uh, a bunch of objects uh, which were important to him, which he called the Simple Things. And each of these objects, I guess, mundane, everyday items. So you have the Doritos chips and Heinz ketchup and, uh, you know, body lotion. So uh, things that were important to Pharrell, which, which when he examined it uh, closer, he found that they were relatively simple things. So he designed these objects with Jacob the Jeweler. And uh, what he created was a, a, a bit of a paradox as far as uh, these art objects are concerned. Because being simple, they were very bejeweled, they were very blinged out. So you had objects made out of a white, uh, pink and yellow gold with 26,000 various uh, gemstones, uh, diamonds, rubies, uh, sapphires and, and so forth. Once he created these objects, he, he wanted to have a presentation format for them. So he approached Takashi Murakami, who he had met through uh, Nigo and uh, Emmanuel Perutin. Uh, and uh, asked uh, Murakami to create a cabinet, a display cabinet for the simple things. And hence, uh, this is the, uh, the object that we have before us. So what it is, the piece that Murakami did is um, an extension of his character, Mr. Job, which is one of the first ones he's ever done. And so the objects that Pharrell did are actually inside of his mouth. So it's kind of the idea of the consumerist monster, I guess, sort of devouring these things. I mean, in terms of the, the refinement, the color, finish on it it's just it's beautiful it's, it's funny because there's these pieces inside that are worth so much and they're made of gold and diamonds but in a lot of ways it's it's the sculpture around it that really I mean the two it's hard to decide which one is really more and it, you know it, it really it really represents I think the paradox too that is that is evident in so much of uh, of designer toys and urban vinyl and the whole movement uh, you know there's this you know, on, on the surface, they're so they're so beautiful and they're, they're so attractive. Yet there's this uh, subversive uh, kind of nature uh, underlying each of them.